Alright, we get some nice XP there. Say what? Hmm? Why, 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 why are you using a Celebi? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Panda. Today we are playing some more of the Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Let's Play. And today we are going to start off with some very sad news. I accidentally caught the Pokemon that was here without pressing record. Yeah. So what it what what happened was that I gave the man the honey. So so this dude right here. Remember how we got honey on Route 3 and this guy was asking for honey for his garden thing? So I thought I was recording. I pressed, uh, I thought I pressed record. And uh, I gave him the honey. I caught the Apom. Yeah, it was a Delta Apom. I caught it and I saved immediately thinking, okay, I don't want to have the game crash like how it did a few times ago. And then, you know, not have my Apom after a little bit. And then I realized... Oh shoot, I'm not recording. So I just caught the Apom, and uh, now I saved, so I can't go back and recapture it or anything. So let's go ahead and uh, go check it out. See see how it went. None of our Pokemon died, luckily, because if they did, you guys would have saw, and uh, not would have saw, but let me show you guys what happens whenever you... Uh, have a fainted Pokemon. You know how whenever you access access the PC and you uh, drop a Pokemon off, usually they heal up right away, right? But these guys, they're all still dead. If you go to uh, summary, health is zero. So that's how you know that they're uh, forever dead because this is a Nuzlocke. And our Mitz here, I decided to name it Mitz, is a ghost normal Delta Apom with rattled. Let's go ahead and look at the summary here. It's got a careful nature, okay. So some move types scare it and boost its speed. I wonder what that type is though, because uh, I wish they would mention that. It's got fake out, curse, pain split, fury swipes. So of course it faked out the first turn, then it cursed, and then it continuously pain split. And then fury swipes lands five times. So you know, this thing was a trouble, it was a real thing to catch, okay? It was, it was bad. But... I don't know if I want to add this thing to the team, right? So let me go ahead and show you guys the team real quick. We got Scarlet, Sandman, Cleaver, Zoro, Big Nose, and Wonka. We've already got three Deltas on here, but I really like Mega Nose. Not Big Nose. Why do I call him Big Nose? Mega Nose, Zoro, and Scarlet. I really like those three. So what i'm planning to do is leave him here along with spyro rushmore john and chuck yeah so that uh, yeah that's just what's gonna happen we're gonna leave him in there for a little bit and now i'm basically out of pokeballs and i'm pretty sure i have no money so we are uh in a little bit of an issue here yeah okay eh. i accidentally talked to this lady did not mean to talk to her. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys how much money I have. I have $72 uh, Pokey dollars and uh, I have no nothing. I got nothing. So we got to continue on. Let me get back to what is it called? Is it Mochi Town? I'm pretty sure it's called Mochi Town. Let's go back to Mochi Town real quick and uh, we will continue on with the storyline. All right, guys, so we made it back to Mechi Town. I misspoke when I said Mochi Town. It's Mechi Town. So, on the last episode, we reached this town, but we never fully explored it. So, I'm going to go ahead and explore this town and then I'll let you guys know if I find anything interesting. Okay, so this guy wants me to buy an egg off of him. If it's less than 72 pokey dollars, I'll buy it. 3,000? No, thank you very much. I only got 72. Okay, so this gate lady just gave us TM57 charge beam. Very nice. Um, let's see if anybody can take advantage of charge beam real quick. Uh, TMs. Let's go down to... Where? Oh, charge beam is up here. My bad. That's brine. Charge Beam. Let's go ahead. See, can anyone learn Charge Beam? 
just Wonka, and I am pretty happy with Wonka's move set. So nobody's gonna be learning Charge Beam just yet. Let me just go ahead and continue checking out the rest of this town. Okay, so one of the persons that I was talking to said that there's something going on across this bridge. So, yep, okay, there it is. There's the little cutscene looking thing, but it's Nora. Okay, look who it is. Hey, Panda, how are you doing? It's me, Nora. Really, I had no idea. I see you finally made it to Mechi Town. I love this place. I used to live here, actually. So, yeah, I met her sister. Yeah, mm hmm I just wanted to meet up and talk about something. But first, how about we battle? Please tell me I healed. Please tell me I healed. Please tell me I healed. Okay. She sends out a Honedge, which is a ghost, right? Yeah, it's ghost steel. Let's just go ahead and go for Dragon Rage. How much is that? She's level 36. And she goes for Autonomize. Wonderful. I think she's faster now. Yep, she goes for Autonomize again, but it doesn't matter because Zoro is going to go ahead and handle this Honedge, which is wonderful. Honedge faints. There we go. She's about to send in a Swad Loon. Swad Loon is a bug type, so let's go ahead and go into Scarlet over here. And let's see. All right. Scarlet, what do you got? Show me what you can do. We're going to go for Flame Charge. It goes for Protect. That's uh, quite unfortunate. Don't know. Okay. Maybe it's a... Uh, that's fine. doesn't matter. We one-shot it. There we go. And we got the Speed Boost. Alright. We get some nice XP there. Say what? Hmm? Why, why, uh, why are you using a Celebi? I, th I thought the whole thing was that we're, uh, you know, not using the legendaries. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go for flame charge. That is about half. That's fine. Okay. Let's see. Goes for ancient power. Oh, no. Okay. 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 We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, Who's going to take an ancient power right now? Uh, probably a Sandman over here. With Sap Sipper, so just in case if he goes for a grass type move, we're, uh, we're good. I'm pretty sure Celebi's Grass Fairy? Or is it Grass Flying? I never know. Maybe they changed it in this game. Who knows? Um, let's go for Sand Tomb. Goes for Safeguard, okay. So it's not Grass Flying, luckily. But now it's trapped in the Sand Tomb. And then I guess we just minimize for a little bit. It goes for ancient power. Don't get the boosts, whatever you do, okay? That, that's really what I'm hoping that you don't get. Alright, let's go for mud bomb, and this should finish it off, I'm pretty sure, with along with the sand tomb. Okay, maybe not. Oh, so close. Okay, we're gonna go for mud bomb, and this should finish it off. She misses another ancient power. Minimize is so good on Sandman. I'm so glad I kept it. Okay, so Celebi goes down, Sand Sandman and Scarlet getting some amazing XP, Scarlet up to level 31. Here comes a Floet. Floet is a fairy, so there's no point in changing Pokemon. We still got our evasiveness boost, so I'm pretty happy with that right now. Let's go for Sand Tomb. Goes for Grassy Terrain. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm honestly okay with that because I also get healing from that, which is fine. And she's getting hurt by the sand tomb, which is amazing. Uh, let's go for mud bomb. Hopefully drop that accuracy a little bit. Okay. Sand tomb damage. That's great. Let's go for minimize again. I don't like uh, how she's hitting everything so far. So minimize again. The wish comes true, unfortunately. It's fine. Uh... Sand Tomb damage is still going on, luckily. So let's go for Bulldoze. She goes for Wish again. That's so annoying. Bulldoze drops the speed, luckily. Sandman isn't very hard hitting. But uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a very long battle. So I'll see you guys once this thing actually gets low. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this time to use a potion. And heal... 
heal uh, Scarlet over here because uh, Scarlet resists those fairy type moves and is quite a bit stronger. Okay, never mind. She switches out to Bayleaf. Okay. Do I stay in? Because, like, what is a Bayleaf going to do to Sandman right now? Let's just go for Sand Tomb. Goes for Reflect? Oh, that's annoying. That's really, really annoying. Um. Okay. Let's, uh. How much you want to bet this Bayleaf goes for Light Screen right now? We're going to go ahead and switch into Scarlet. I know we're losing the three evasiveness and all, but I think it's worth it. It goes for Synthesis. Okay, that's fine. We got the free switch off, which I'm very happy with. We're going to go for Flame Charge real quick. One shot this Bayleaf. Oh, wait. I forgot. Okay, it's got the Reflect up. It goes for Magical Leaf. This shouldn't do too much. That's 10. That's still quite a bit more than I expected. Let's go for Ember. This is our one special move on this thing, and it just knocks it out. Very nice. I forgot about the Reflect for a second there. Sandman getting up to 31. Scarlet also getting some nice XP. Here comes back in the Floet. We're not going to switch this time. And uh, the Reflect is still up, so we're going to go for Ember. It should do around half. That was a crit, and it didn't even do half? Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's got grassy terrain now. Reflect finally faded. We're going to go for a uh, Flame Wheel. This should do quite a bit. It does. It knocks it out. Very nice. The Floet goes down. Scarlet up to 32. And we defeat Nora. There we go. We got some nice amount of cash there. But I am aware that there is a, a hidden base feature in this game. Because one of the guys in the house has started talking about hidden base. And that's the only reason why he moved to this town. So I want to save our money to buy a secret base. So I'm not going to go and buy that egg anytime soon. But maybe I will. I don't know. Wow, that was intense. I'm starting to get convinced that prophecy was about you instead of me. I wish I was able to read it. That way I knew for sure. Anyways, I need to talk to Damien. He seems trustworthy. So I told him about Celebi and Mew. Whoa, whoa. Okay. First, you say, Oh, we both have legendaries. We probably shouldn't tell anyone or use them ever. Goes ahead and uses a Celebi. And then tells Damien? Come on. Come on now. But I don't think I fully explained to him just how important it is for him to shut up and not talk to anybody about. So uh, why are you talking about it, huh, Nora? There's, there's a dude right there who could be listening in and be a cult member. You never know, okay? Would you mind doing that for me? Last I heard, he was headed south to Vipic City to challenge Xavier. I'd do it myself, but I have other things on my mind. I'll see you around, Panda. Alright, so we're going to Vipic City either way. Let me go ahead and talk to all these guys real quick, and then we'll continue. Hey, look, okay, so this guy gave us a focus band. Very nice. Focus band could come in handy, but it's a one-time use, so maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so this lady just gave us a miracle seed. Um, I don't think that's going to be very useful right now, but maybe in the future when we have a grass type. And I think we found the secret base dude. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Greetings, you know who I am. Allow me to tell you, I am known as the secret base manager. Yep, secret base dude. All right. Trainers from all over the world come to me to purchase and see manage their secret bases. You know, you can do it, a lot of things in your secret base. You can decorate it with trophies or plushies or even hire people to work for you there. You can even visit your friends' secret bases if you want. You can lay traps around your base to prevent your friends from easily sneaking in. If you want, you can play a fun game of capture the flag with your friends or visit their friend safaris. So, have I convinced you yet? Would you like to have a secret base? Yes, I would. 5,000 Poké Dollars. Ooh, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. We don't have that kind of money yet, so we're going to have to wait a little bit on that. There's a Pika Taxi dude. Um, uh, yeah, so we're going to have to wait on the secret bases. We don't have quite enough money yet. Oh my gosh, oh, there's so many people in this town. All right, so we have to head south from this city. Let me uh, finish talking to all these dudes. Okay, so this guy is gonna give us the destiny knot. Very cool for breeding. If I get a, if I ever get into that, try to get some uh, perfect IV Pokemon and such. And here's the daycare. Very nice. I'm the daycare woman. All right. Let's see if there's the usual egg giver in these uh, places. Um, yeah, no, I would not like you to raise my Pokemon right now. We actually have to go south of here, so uh, let's go south. 
because why not? And uh, this is a new encounter? No, we're still in Mechie Town. So I guess it doesn't count as a new encounter. Let's go ahead, battle this dude. And see what he can do. I am going to be cutting out most of the trainers that aren't that exciting. So unless something important happens, you guys won't really see this battle. We beat this dude and Cleaver got up to level 31 and got and we got some more Pokey Dollars. I got to continuously check and make sure we got... We want to have 5,000 so we can go back and get that thing. I'm going to go heal and then I see that Fero, which is a static encounter, so we can get it anytime we want to. But I think I see a secret base here. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out after I go heal because we did get burned in that battle. So we go heal that off and then we are going to check out that secret base and the Fero. Alright, so we are about to enter this secret passageway. What is it? It's a polywhirl. Okay, I'll take a polywhirl, sure. I'd rather have a polywhirl. Oh, it's level 10. And I don't have pokeballs. Yay! Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. How many pokeballs we got? We got three pokeballs. We only got three pokeballs? Okay, so we're gonna have to take some risky stuff over here. We're gonna have to uh, leech seed it. And, uh, yeah, hope. We gotta hope, hope, hope. So, we're gonna leech seed. And then we're gonna waste turns until it's in about the red-ish. And then, uh, we're gonna start chucking balls. I am going to take this encounter over the Fero. But if we lose this encounter, then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Fero. The Fero, I'll probably just battle it and then kill it, whatever. But... Yeah, I don't think we should get two static encounters on this route. We're only going to take the Poliwhirl. If we don't get the Poliwhirl, then we're going to go ahead and get the Fero. Okay, so this Poliwhirl is finally in the yellow. So we're going to start chucking balls now. Let's go ahead and throw a Premier Ball. Oh boy, here we go. The stress begins. Alright, one, two, three. Oh my god. You're kidding me. Okay, goes for hypnosis, whatever. Ho, 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 my god. Okay. Two more balls. One more ball. Friend ball. Here we go. Come on. You want to be my friend, right? I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. One, two, three. Let's go. We got the Poliwhirl. Let's go. Now, we either need a King's Rock or we just evolve it normally and get a uh, Poliwrath. So, it's still a water type. Now, what do I want to name this Poliwhirl is the question. Okay, guys, so I finally thought of a name. We got a Vortex here. You know, he's got the little swirl on his stomach. Kind of looks like a Vortex, even though it's his small intestines and stuff. But we got Vortex sent to the PC. Very nice. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go back and check him yet, but let's just go ahead and continue on the route. And here's an old lady. Let's battle this old lady. <laughs> Oh my god, guys. We just lost Zoro. This... Oh my god, we just lost Zoro. Okay, so the Drift Blim just uh, went for Ominous Wind. And I was burned. And I was left with 1 HP. So, uh, yeah, we lost Zoro just now. Oh my god. Uh, I was gonna go into Wonka, but then Wonka was asleep, so I- Oh man. <sighs> man, I really like- oh. Man, oh. God, dang it. Alright, uh, I guess we lost Zoro. I really liked Zoro. Okay. Uh, we got a ghost type here. Let's- Ghost electric, let's go into Sandman. That is very, very 
I really, oh man. It's, it's very unfortunate. He's probably got Levitate. Why am I going into a ground type? How much you want to bet he's got Levitate? Yeah. He's got Levitate. Okay. Um, uh, we're gonna have to switch. Let's go into Mega Nose, I guess. He's got Uproar. So, this is going to be a problem. Luckily, that was a crit and it's not very effective. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Um, let's go for Rock Slide here. Oh my god. I can't believe we lost Zoro to that, though. I was over half health and an ominous wind just destroyed Zoro. Okay, there, Mega Nose, you gotta... Alright, so, do I heal? I feel like I just heal. Okay, we're gonna heal. We're gonna use our first potion here. This battle was not supposed to be hard. But, uh, I guess, I guess it is what it is sometimes. Well, now we got an excuse to use the Apom, I guess. Uh, yeah. Apom's coming on the team, probably. Or maybe I go Spyro. No, we already got a fire type. I don't want to... Okay, no, hold on. Hold on a second. We go for another potion here. That That's probably the smartest play we got. Oh, man. We really lost Zoro. My goodness. Okay, now... now okay, we're going to have some problems here now because this thing's went for evasiveness or double team stuff. Uh, let's go for Rock Slide. Please hit, please hit, please hit. There we go. Okay, there goes the Rotom. And then, of course, we got the crit for no reason. Rotom goes down. Mega Nose getting some experience. Scarlet getting some experience. And we beat this lady. Okay. Okay. Do we have money at least? We have enough money to go buy the, the secret base. Let's go buy the secret base, drop off Zoro, and go grab someone new. Oh my god. Okay. I'll see you guys at the Pokemon Center. Alright guys, so I just healed. It's time to drop off Zoro, unfortunately. So, where is Zoro? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Zoro was so good, to be honest. I really liked Zoro. Alright, Zoro, you can uh, sit here with all the other fallen soldiers. Now, who do I want? So, I could take a fighting type, which we don't have. And John could be pretty good. We do have a rock type. And we also have a fire type. However, Vortex and Mitts are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at Vortex real quick. It's got damp. So, you know, we can't have any explosions going on. We got mild nature. Okay. It's got water spout, water gun, hypnosis. The thing is, Vortex will take quite a bit to train up. But, once it does evolve, we do get a fighting type along with it. However, we got a Delta Pokemon. So, I'm not too sure. I'm thinking we go with Vortex for now. To be honest, I think we go Vortex. Yeah, we're gonna use Vortex for now. I just don't see the Delta Apom being that good right now. I don't know why. I just feel like having a water type on the team will just be better. So we're going to put it in front. Hopefully we run into a few encounters that I can just switch train against. So let me go ahead and get back down to where we were on whatever, wherever that was. I'm pretty sure it's still Mechi Town. I don't think it's Route 4, maybe Route 5. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's still part of Mechi Town because we didn't get a little banner. But yeah, okay, let me get back there. Okay, so we are back. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with the Fero right now because I really don't feel like it. Okay, we got more water. So let's go ahead, follow the water, I guess. Okay, Vortex up to level 11. Learns Bubble, Vortex up to 12. Okay, okay, that was not bad, that was not bad. Um, what is, what is going on up here? What is this? It's a house. It's a house, okay. There's a Cyndaquil here. Oh, wow. That is, that is cool. Cyndaquil. I haven't seen Cyndaquil before. But uh, let's go ahead and destroy it with Sandman real quick. Okay, Vortex up to 13 and Sandman getting some XP. I want to see what's in this house. Huh? 
What? What is that? Is that a Ralt? No. No, 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 it looks like a Delta Ralt. So. Oh man. I don't have Pokeballs. Oh my god. Okay. So we're going to leave the Ralts here. And I'm just going to continue on this route. Hopefully there's more trainers. And we can beat them up. And get some money. Then. I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. Grab grab some Pokeballs. And try and catch this Ralt this Ralts and that's where we're gonna end the episode okay so I'm gonna go ahead finish off this route I really wish I knew that the Cyndaquil was my encounter there was no banner from Mechie Town to this route 4 so I was so confused but all right that's fine whatever I'm gonna finish off this route real quick oh my god we almost lost Scarlet okay and this thing's got Mach Punch so I can't just attack it let's uh oh boy okay Okay, here we go, Wonka. Oh man, that was that was scary. This is the first trainer too. Oh boy, okay. We resist, luckily. Oh man, okay, here we go. We're gonna go for Psy Beam. Goodbye. So we got faint attack. Alright, that's fine. We take out the Breloom. Okay. Okay, that, that that got scary. Vortex up to 15. Trying to learn double slap. Yeah, sure. Um, it's better than Water Spout. Okay. Vortex up to level 16 now. Vortex up to 17? Scarlet up to 33. I'm trying to learn Inferno. Yes, you're learning Inferno. I, I just don't know what to say. You're learning Inferno. I Maybe you're not. It's 50% accurate. Hmm. Okay. So, Flame Charge is weaker than Flame Wheel. So, I could get rid of Flame Charge. However, it does give us a speed boost. And that does come in handy. I don't want to get rid of Stomp. Okay, Inferno, you're not being learned, unfortunately. Yes, you're going to stop learning Inferno. Oh, man. If Inferno was a little bit better, I think I would replace Ember for it. 100%. I just wish it was better. Okay, let me finish this route then. Okay, Vortex up to 18. Trying to learn Rain Dance. That could come in handy. Okay, Water Gun is 40. Bubbles, 40. This could lower speed. And that doesn't. This is also 100 accuracy. That's also 100 accuracy. We're getting rid of Water Gun for Rain Dance. Rain Dance could come in handy. And, uh, yeah. So, we are now on to this route. Wonderful. We're in Vipic City. Alright. So, we're going to, uh, end it here. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I know. Um, before the cut, I said, uh, I'm going to get this uh, Rolts, right? So, I'm deciding that we're not going to get the Rolts right now. Probably on the next episode, we're going to start off by getting the Rolts. But right now, I think uh, we should end the episode. Um, uh, give, me, give me names for that Rolts. Without trying to... Um, uh, Without trying to spoil anything, give me names, okay? Just give me names that you want the Rolts to be. And if it's male, do you want me to make a Gallade or do you want me to keep it as a Gardevoir? That's up to you guys. I'll let you, let you comment that down below in, in the comment section. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.